All right, guys, so we're about ready for the last piece of the bench. And uh, I wanted to bring you in here to show the last bit how I've refined the process over, over a while. Um, we'll also talk a little bit about some of the things I've learned through this process. I've got a little bit of twist uh, in this one. The other bench, or the other piece I didn't, you can see that little bit of twist right there. That is primarily because it has been raining no exaggeration for about two and a half weeks um now not all the time but like right now it just got done with a storm that's been going on for the past hour and it's been doing that every day so if you can do this when it's dry i highly recommend it because uh it makes it very difficult to to try to keep this thing straight uh the other thing i i really recommend doing these harbor freight clamps work pretty well However, if you can buy the ones that have the bar instead of the, the, the beam, I highly recommend that. These beam styles, they twist horizontally and vertically when they start to go underneath of a stress, which causes it makes it a little bit harder to keep everything straight. Also, I recommend getting more of these than what you think you're going to need. So you can see this one's bent. Get a couple more than what you think you're going to need because you're going to end up using them for lining boards and things like that as well. So let's get into putting in this last piece and um, finally be done with this laminating part.
bar one. We the best bar none, hands down, damn clowns. You don't wanna spar, son. Mad similes and smart puns. Your baby blew me in the bushes, aborigines and dark guns. Large funds, but I'm trying to get that tarp money. Angel slaying, find me laying with the heart bunnies. Still living like I'm swimming with the shark. All right, guys, I'll just say I'm finally done with the laminating part. Um, the glue I'm using, it says it takes about 48 hours to actually uh, set, which I think is a lot. I haven't messed with this as long as I have. Uh, it appears to take actually probably about more like uh, four days or so. Today's Monday, Memorial Day. So I'm going to leave this to the weekend before I start sanding on it. Also going to throw some clamps on here in certain spots across widthwise just to make sure that it's as tight as it can be. The screws do not tighten the wood up completely. Um, so the clamps really do help to, to keep clamps on while, while things drying. That's why I was only able to do, you know, three, four sections at a time versus being able to do it all at once in one sitting uh, is because the the screws really can't hold it all the way as tight as it needs to be. This is that shitty clamp. There's one clamp that's kind of bad for some reason. I need to sit it off to the side. Uh, I want to make sure I leave enough room because I'm going to start finishing on the other two sections of the bench possibly today. But that won't be in this video. Um, So there it is, guys. That's uh, that's the laminating process. I recommend not doing it. Uh, find another way to build your bench. Maybe this is going to turn out looking great, and in which case I'll change my mind. But right now, it's just it. It's a lot of time and a lot of energy and a lot of money, and uh, <laughs> and it doesn't necessarily go very well. So I'm not a I'm not a huge proponent of this method. There's got to be better ways to do it. I don't know what I'm doing, so that makes it a little bit more difficult. I watched a couple videos, uh, and I didn't see anything overly mind-blowing except for guys having really good equipment and not working on, you know, benches and stuff like this. And I think that's kind of the difference. If you're working with uh, substandard type equipment like I am here, um, this just ain't the way to go. Um, I'd recommend laminating up a couple pieces of plywood and, and then put a, you know, furniture grade on top and then some industrial stuff underneath. I think that'd be a little bit easier and your uh, product probably even be a little bit better in the long run. But, uh, you know, bit off a little bit more than I could chew to some degree, but I'm going to chew it up one piece at a time, right? All right, so uh, next video, we're going to be finishing up these uh, these sections then putting the facing boards on them and mounting them into the room um, so until then stay safe have fun I'll see you later